it's a nice morning good temperature um, clear skies low winds so what we're hoping for is to get into some of these schools today I'm out here fishing with uh, Rico from ACK all right guys it looks like there's a school up there see if I can pick a redfish up here we go try not to hook a bird while I'm at it got him Oh, yeah. Got him. There he is. Um, we're in the marsh. It is probably about 50 degrees right now um, it's not that cold Rico thinks it's cold he hasn't been on the water for quite some time so we're we're I'm out retired, here semi. He's, he says he's retired so we're out here uh, see if we can tackle some redfish what we're hoping for is to get into some of these schools today um, and or if not maybe sight cast some fish but right now we're just paddling to uh, I'm winded we're just paddling to the area um, that's a red right there you see that shrimp pop Paddling to the area where we uh, we think there's going to be some redfish. There's a redfish oh, right there. Yep. See that wake? Yep. All right, we're already seeing some good activity, guys. So stick around, um, enjoy the show, and let's see if we can get it. All right, guys, it looks like there's a school up there. There's a bunch of birds cruising the shoreline. All right, guys. There are some birds right here. I'm just looking to see if there's any uh, surface activity or what these birds are chasing. I'm gonna toss out this chicken boy shrimp and uh, <clears throat> see if there's any takers. Um, who knows, they could just be feeding on uh, bait that's in really, really shallow water but it does look like there's some activity. So I'm gonna make a few casts and uh, see if I can pick a redfish up. Here we go. Try not to hook a bird while I'm at it. Right about there. Got him. Got him. There it is. Sure enough was a red. Looked like a good size red too. Nice. Dude, they were just uh busting. Yeah, I'm gonna try to catch behind you, hopefully they're still around. That's a good red. There's some right there. There's a school of redfish right there, Rico. See, this is why I tell Rico we need to get out here early, because the schools are out early. Barely. Cast in there, man, and get video. All right. <clears throat> oh, did you see that redfish? Watch, Rico's about to hook up. Work it slow, man. Let's get this guy in the net. He's a little, he's a decent red. He's a definitely a, a mid slot. No, man, they're still there. They didn't go far. All right. Oh, dude, this is a big red. This is a good redfish. All right. Let's get him on the bogus, get him measured, and then get him back in the water. All right, this guy weighs uh, six pounds. 
All right, so he is 24 and a quarter inches. Not a bad, not a bad mid-slot redfish. Look at that chicken boy shrimp just swimming through the water. Okay, there is something, there's a, I think that's a, that's some redfish up there. We gotta go. That was a big disturbance. It had to be, red, it has to be redfish. Oh yeah, that's redfish, guys. There's a bunch of reds right there. They're just tailing, cruising. I'm debating on whether I should grab the camera or grab the rod. Oh, there's a red right there cruising the shoreline. There's a red right there and there's some reds right here. Let's get the camera out for a second first. That is enough filming. Put the camera back here. Let's make a quick cast. Watch this, watch this guys. Got him. Got him. That is a good red. That was awesome. That was awesome. This is a good red. I hope I didn't spook them. I, oh, there's there's a bunch of reds right there roaming the shoreline. Guys, this is ridiculous. That's why I love fall. This guy hammered it. Oh, that is so much fun. That was so much fun. Sometimes you just gotta have the patience, put the, put the rod down and just watch them for a second. I was fortunate enough to <clears throat> put the rod down, get some video, and then still be able to throw a hook at them. Let's get this guy in the net. There we go, another good solid redfish. Not a, not a monster by any means, but I mean, he, he isn't no, uh, small guy either good good middle slot probably another six pounder let's get this chicken boy out of his mouth and let him go all right there it is there he is All right, guys, that was awesome. I caught that first red on a school that was under birds. There was another school that you guys saw um, that was just chasing shrimp and schooled up. There was no birds around. Um, surprising. Rico is still hunting for his first, but we're gonna get him one. Ain't no we. I'm gonna get the mar one. the marsh. I'm gonna put him on a fish real quick. Is what's gonna happen, more than likely. Um, hey, can you hook the fish for me and hand me the rod? <laughs> They're right here, right? Yeah, just cast into it. Oh, yeah! I told you I was going to put you on a fish.
Look at that nice healthy mullet right there. Yeah. It was an exhausting adventure. Yep. Uh, took forever to get get a fish. Yep. Um, I'd like to thank the birds, the dragonflies, um, Mother Nature, <laughs> and um, also, Bugs Lures. I do want to send a shout out for real to uh, to Heath Heath Hipple, owner of Bugs Lures. Uh, Make some amazing stuff. Yeah, there's some and, good stuff. I mean, this stuff. If you spook a fish, it's because your land, your line probably landed on them. Yeah. Uh, but the bait itself works pretty yeah. damn good. All right, where did I see that school? I think there's a school right there. Yep, there's a school right there. Um, you can see the tails up. See how this water is so shallow or so calm? Every little movement and commotion on the water is just gonna be uh, double because you can see everything. So right there, I know there's a school of redfish right there. Um, there's a couple of reds busting here and there, but that's the biggest school I see so far right now. So I'm gonna head that way. And, and make a cast. Can you guys see it? I don't know if you can see it. There's a disturbance on the water right there. See that? See that? That's a, that's a school of reds. 40 de or 50 degrees this morning. They're loving this cool temperature. It gets them schooled up. Typical fall pattern, chasing small shrimp in the mud. All right, there they are. They're tailing right there. Maybe not quite far enough Ooh, that's some decent sized redfish okay that should that should be right there they should probably hit it on the drop there it is got him that is fun you can see the whole school moving all right the school's heading that way Hopefully I can get this fish and get back on that school. That was fun. This is what it's all about. This one's not as big as the first two, um, but still a slot red nonetheless, probably about 20. Uh, 21, 22 inches, um, and I think he ate my, actually ate my chicken boy. Here he is, guys. Pretty red fish. Pretty red. Little split tail. Let's get a measure on him just, uh, just to see what he, he goes. I'm pretty sure that's going to complete the, uh, 
the limit. Yeah, yeah, 20 and a half inches. A good eating fish if I was eating them today, but I'm not, just, just a little catch and release today. Nice day. I took today off, today's Friday. I took the day off, decided to uh, chase some schools. I, I couldn't resist, the, the temperatures were perfect. There was no wind out here as you guys can see. And obviously it's paid off so far. Let's release this one. Big old redfish just come up. All right, I see one moving. See, there's a lot of mullet, but there's red shaking the mullet. Yeah, I see one moving over here, look. That's a redfish. Got him. Got him? Hell yeah. No, shut up. Came loose. All right, guys, that is it. We're uh, we're heading back, heading back to the launch. I'm hanging my hat up. He's hanging it up. We caught, I caught three reds. He caught a couple reds. Yeah. Um, all slots, all decent slots. Some healthy. Most of them were healthy, healthy redfish. Um, it was a good day. We saw some schools. We saw some singles. We saw some tails. Saw a little bit of everything today. So, hope hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, if you guys need a kayak or in the in the market for a kayak or maybe you're just wanted to, to rent one don't forget to uh hit up rico over there at ack he'll uh he'll hook you up with a good deal but anyway guys a winter paddle. oh yeah that's a nice paddle anyway guys thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and uh hit that bell notification if you want to be informed of any of the new videos that are coming out um it helps me out appreciate it we'll talk to you again thanks guys The Marsh Cowboy is off the skunk. Three to one. <laughs> uh, but I have GoPro footage that proves otherwise. See, they won't hear this part because that's going to be edited out. So you can continue uh, to talk all you want. Well, you can put it in the blooper. <laughs> yeah.